Whenever you're ready. Okay. Brittany Corso, introductory speech. Everyone has their fears, whether it be flying, spiders, ghosts, there's always something that gets the best of us. How many of you in here can raise your hand and say that you're not afraid of anything? I know I can't. These wings right here aren't just a pair of pretty purple fairy wings, but rather a representation of my past and my present fears. Looking back on my childhood, you could say I was a pretty anxious child. Um, I would never sleep alone at night because I was too afraid of the dark. I was constantly washing my hands because I was afraid of catching a cold. And I would never leave my mom's side for more than 10 minutes. Although I had all these little anxieties growing up, there was one huge fear that I had, which people are still baffled by today, the tooth fairy. I remember when I lost my first tooth and I spent hours on the floor kicking and screaming and crying because the idea of a grown woman coming into my room in the middle of the night and taking something from underneath my pillow scared the bejesus out of me. Although nowadays I'm not afraid of the tooth fairy, I have an almost even more rational fear. Birds. I know you all are probably looking at me like I'm crazy, but birds are everywhere. Oh, all of you probably don't realize when you're sitting at lunch and there are birds underneath your table picking at your leftover food. Or if you're on the beach and there are seagulls flying around your head. But I do. Now, I don't know if my fear of birds stemmed from my fear of the tooth fairy, but what I do know is that it can't be a coincidence that both birds and the tooth fairy have a set of wings and are both inherently evil. Although I'm not sure exactly where these two fears stem from, I do know that there's, it's something that I have to learn how to deal with. That's why I tend to find comfort in the words of Franklin D. Roosevelt, we have nothing to fear but fear itself.